Hi, this is Maria with savingswow.com and today I'm here to show you how to make a fun, beautiful, unique Mother's Day gift for all occasions actually. So what we're making today is a do-it-yourself, personalized, unique photo candle. The supplies that you'll need to make this are tissue paper, a sheet of printer paper, a glue stick, scissors, an oven mitt is optional, candles of course, wax paper, some ribbons which are also optional, and a heat tool. So what you're going to start off is by doing is looking for some photos that you would like to use for your candle. Now you can make it uh, something simple with just a photo or if you'd like to get a little bit fancier you can use a photo editing software or a word processing software to edit your photo to add uh, some elements to it like hearts which I did in this candle or you can add some, add some text to it and on this one I added a mother is born and you can also use it to add some borders or some frames in this one I added some borders and what I used is pickmonkey.com that's P-I-C monkey.com and I used the free version and that's where I was able to add some text and some borders and some hearts to my photo but again you can use any word processing software to do that as well now once you have selected your photo you're going to take either a sheet of scrap paper or printer paper and you're going to cut a piece of tissue paper that's about an inch around a little bigger than your printer paper. Once you have that set up, you're going to take your glue stick and all around the edges you're going to glue down that, ex that excess one inch around the edges and fold it over so it's on the back of your printer paper. And you want to make sure that you're tucking in the corners as well because you basically want it to be as flat as possible, the tissue paper to the printer paper. And if there is a glossy side to your tissue paper, you want that side touching your printer paper. Pretty much the printer paper is going to act as a thing that hardens the tissue paper so that it can get through the printer. So once you have that set up, make sure you measure your candle so that you know if your image is going to be the right size. You don't want it too big that it covers up the whole candle. You want to give it a little bit of room. You're going to put this sheet with your tissue paper and the printer paper in your printer. Print out your photo the way you normally would. And when it comes out, it should come out like this, where you can still see the printer paper in the back. You're going to cut out the image that you'd like to use and get rid of that backing paper. And then you'll be left with this tissue paper with your photo and whatever text that you'd like on there. Okay. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your candle. As you can see, we've got different sizes for the candles. And you're just going to lay your tissue paper. You're going to place it where you would like it. And kind of eyeball whether or not it's even. Okay, then once you get it set to where you would like it, you're going to actually take a piece of wax paper that's just a little bit bigger than your candle and you want it to wrap around your candle and have a little bit of extra room so that you can actually hold it with one hand. So this is where your oven mitt comes in because you want to put an oven mitt on the hand that's going to hold the candle because it may get a little bit hot. So basically the layering is going to be a candle, tissue paper, and then wax paper. And with the tissue paper and the wax paper, you want it pretty tight against the candle. Okay, so make sure you roll it a little bit there. And then you'll use your heat tool. And how we'll start off doing this is that you'll start off at one edge of your picture use the heat tool to go over it and it'll start to melt into the candle. You'll be able to see how it starts to look like it's part of the candle. 
and then you'll slowly turn your candle around until you've gotten everything melted. The key to this is that you do not want to linger in one area too long or else it starts to blob up, but you will get to see that as we're doing the heat tool. And then once you have most of the tissue on there, melt it on, you'll just take your candle, sit it upright onto the wax paper, and then you're going to take your heat tool again and just kind of go over it lightly so that you will smooth out any of the imperfections on there and melt it on a little bit better. Then voila, this one has a few bumps, but voila, you have your very own personalized candle. Now I want to show you on this one, it's actually a little bit easier to work with a, a larger candle. However, you can work with small candles as well. On this one, you can see that we've added marbles and put it in a decorative jar. Now, most of these supplies I was able to find at the dollar store, so it was very affordable. I was able to get a spool of ribbon for a dollar, the bag of marbles, the decorative, um, the decorative dish for it, as well as um, the candles were at the dollar store. So all of this for under five dollars. Can't beat that, right? These make great Mother's Day gifts, but they also are great for teacher gifts, wedding showers, centerpieces, you name it. Now let, unleash your creativity and see what you can do with these candles as well. Thanks for joining us today.